Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In this video, let us see how to deploy a containerized Spring Boot application with Docker into Amazon's EC2. I did a video on how to use a Spring Boot with Docker. I'm going to use the same example for this tutorial also. So what I have here is a simple Spring Boot application which is going to have a get mapping and return a string. And I have created a Docker file uh, the Docker file is going to use OpenJDK. Uh, it's going to push the target jar as app.jar. It's going to have an entry point Java, iPhone jar, app.jar, and it's going to expose the port as 8080. So let's quickly go and build this Docker file. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this Docker file. I'm going to give a name, a username, Spring Boot Docker AWS. The file has been successfully built. Now, in order to access it from the AWS EC2 instance, you have to push this to your repository. So let us push this Docker application to my uh, Docker repository. All right, so the upload has now started. Now let's go back to our AWS console and let's provision an EC2 instance. Click on EC2. And click on launch instance. Select a free tier AMI. I'm going to select this. Let it be T2 micro. Uh, click on next, add storage, add tax. Let all these big things be default. Uh, click on existing security group and let's select the default VPC security. Click on review and launch. If you don't have a key pair, select create new key pair. If you already have one, you can map that and use that key pair. Click on launch instances and view instances. Our instance is getting created. Let's go back to our console and take a look at how the upload is going on. Looks like the upload has been successfully done. Let us quickly take a look at that in our Docker Hub. Here's my Docker Hub. I'm going to do a refresh. All right, looks like our application got successfully uploaded to the Docker Hub repository. Let us try to SSH into this remote instance. But before that, we have the default security group added to this instance, which does not have SSH or HTTP in it, which will not allow us to either access the server using HTTP or you cannot remote into this without enabling these ports. So let's quickly go and create a security group and let's add it to our EC2 instance. For that, scroll down on the left menu, click on security groups. Create new security group and give a name, EC2 Docker SG. So let me click on the add rule. I'm going to enable SSH from anywhere, then add rule. Click on HTTP. I'm going to enable port 80. And let us do HTTP also because these two go as pass, right? And then click on create. The security group has been created now. The EC2 Docker SG. Now let's go back to our instance. Click on the instance. Click on actions, networking and change security group. Let's add our new security group to this instance and click on assign security group. You don't have to restart the EC2. The changes will be reflected immediately. So let's click on connect and here's the auto generated command to connect to your EC2 instance. Copy this and let's go to our console. Now paste this key and you should be connected successfully. So before we run our application, uh, we have to make sure that everything is updated properly. Let's do a sudo to elevate our privilege and then let's update this EC2 instance with the latest updates. All right, so it looks like the update has been successfully completed. Now let us install Docker in this server. The only thing that you need to install in this EC2 server is Docker. You don't have to in even install a Java in this. 
because Java is already present inside our container. So now let us try to start our Docker. For this, you have to use sudo service docker start. The Docker has been started, and now let us go and run our application. sudo docker run. I'm going to map the port. 8080 inside my docker container with the port 80 of my EC2 instance. Then give the name of your image. It's going to be Spring Boot Docker AWS and click on run. Now the extraction process has been started and once this is completed, the application will be automatically started and will be made available for you to use. Cool, the application has successfully started. Let's jump back to our browser and let's try to fire this URI. So in order to access this, I need the public DNS or you can either use the you know, public IP4 address. So let me give this URI in the browser and let me click on enter. It is showing me in a white label error page. That means our application is working fine. Now let us try to access our application. The request mapping URI is slash docker. When I click on enter, it should return back me a string. Spring Boot Docker example. Now our application has been successfully deployed into EC2 instance with Docker in it. Thanks for watching guys and please subscribe for more such videos.